Hi everyone, my name is Electric Donkey and uh, today we are once again back doing another review uh, for Donkey's Feedback. Now, today we are going back and re-reviewing another game. Um, the reason being was I reviewed this game called Temporal a while back, a couple of weeks ago now. And uh, yeah, I didn't know what on earth I was meant to be doing, it didn't have any instructions or anything. But it looked like from the pictures it had quite a deep... Um, bit that I couldn't play basically so uh, after talking to the developer who is Lumini 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 um, basically he's made a load of updates and changed a lot of things it's not really much here but um, apparently this all been kind of changed around it should be relatively easy for me to understand what's going on and hopefully have some decent feedback this time so we're going to open it up, I'm going to give it a go. So uh, I'm sure you can remember it's a full screen game and it's got quite a fancy old uh, intro. Um, let's have a look at the settings just in case anything's changed. And turn all these, well we'll leave them on for the moment as long as they're not, they're not bothering us. I'm going to up the uh, screen resolution. Oh no, it doesn't go up, okay. I guess we'll leave it on. That then. Uh, art information doesn't do anything. No, it does. Yep, we've got a bit of movement stuff there. I think this is all exactly the same. So let's just go ahead and play it. Let's give it a go, shall we? This is something that I never got. It took ages to try and uh, get it to work. But I did actually play the first level just to prove it was working. Oh, there we go. I have to click it for ages. So, there we go. Basically, uh, on the first time around, uh, I'll sort of try and show you again, but I did this level a while ago. Basically, when you first do it, when you go over that, it tells you to press the up um, button, which in my case is W. Now, that was quite handy. I don't know if... By it telling you basically there, and it made it a bit clearer and it made it so we can actually play it and give it a go. So it is, it is slightly weird controls to be honest. I'm more used to either using W to either um, jump or move around or something. It's quite weird for me to press that new space to jump and then press the up arrow as well. It feels it's slightly weird to me. Um, maybe you could redo it so it's another button, maybe enter or something, because you don't really need the mouse button. Uh, you don't need the hand on the mouse for this, apart from to click them. It's about all you need it for. So, yeah. Um, one other thing I would say is try and attempt to get the higher resolutions there. So, in my case, 1080p. Yeah, so again, it's based on timing, so I've got to get over there in a certain amount of time, or I lose out. I have lost, so yeah, lost there. Um, right, well, what? let's think about art now. Uh, I love the art, actually. It's really nice, especially the particle effects when you die and stuff. Um, they're pretty nice. Um, the character itself, pretty unique and um, different but there is one thing I specifically do not like and uh, that's the portal things now the reason I don't like them is I'll try and if we can get through this level I can perhaps have an easier one to show you guys then. Oh, so right there. basically um, as it moves around it seems to lose Um, basically, this whole art style has an element of smoothness to it. It's quite smooth, it's quite cute, it's quite uh, neat like that. When you go near that, it's alright until it starts moving. And when it starts moving, you start to see... There we go. You start to see that it's got sharp edges and it starts to kind of 
break it slightly you see when it's moving around there um, so that would be something very very minor really everything else has got that smooth kind of blocky feel to it which I quite like um, now I presume there's quite a lot of levels I think there's about two worlds worth of levels so there's enough to get you going um, on that aspect and the game itself is very unique it's very different um, it's not something I can see I've ever really come across. I've come across time trial, trial games kind of thing before, but never really one where you have to do this kind of stuff, and it's quite quick as well. Um, reminds me of another game maker game actually called Ninja or something. Um, and yeah, that was a very successful game maker game. So. Basically, what I'm saying is it seems quite good, it seems quite unique, quite different. Um, I like the art style, I love the art style actually. One thing I might just say is the jumping feels a little bit sluggish, perhaps, but maybe that's just because you can't go magically flying around in the middle of air. Um, it, it feels sluggish to me. But yeah, I mean that's maybe another thing is, and this is quite a big thing actually. But um, that instead of having to press the up arrow when you go near it, that you just have to like go near it, and it kind of sucks you in. So I think that would maybe be something to consider. I'm not saying you should do it. I'm just saying to consider it because you might want it that way. There we go. I've done that one. But you can see that kind of annoying. Um, it's an interesting color scheme. I can't really say I dislike it. It's quite nice. And I do like the overall blues of things. See, yeah. I presume these start to get more and more complicated. I like the dash mode from the shop to proceed further. Okay, so we're going to have to go to the shop, apparently. Let's go to the shop, shall we? Why not? We've got the quite unresponsive um, thing, the UI kind of thing. Okay, we're going to buy that. Can we buy another one? Or no. no. Okay, we're just going to do one more level if possible. Um, we're just going to quickly see how many worlds there is. Okay, there's three worlds, and we're 26% of the way through, so it kind of gives you a judge of how long each world is, I think there's probably about quite a few, quite a few, um, about a quarter of the way through. So how do we dash then? Oh, okay, that's how we dash. We press that, okay. Hmm, well, anyway, I don't think we'll be able to do that, and might be there for quite a while. And that's something that's quite good, I think it's nice, it's challenging, it's not too difficult because I managed to get through quite a lot of that in about 8 minutes. Um, but all the same, there's probably enough to make you keep going, I mean, there's probably quite a lot there to do. Also I really like the closing, it all goes black and quite smooth and everything. Um, and that's all quite nice. So yeah, I'd say main things would be this little thing here looks a little bit too sharp around the edges. Attempt to fix that if possible. Uh, Again, the other thing would be how this plays out, so you don't actually have to press the up arrow. Um, the responsiveness on the menu is probably the three main things. Other than that, I really like it. I like the art style and everything to do with it, really. Um, it's quite a unique style, so yeah, overall, very good game. Um, just a few little things there, and you're pretty much done, I'd say. Uh, but anyway guys, that was my review of Temporal, again, uh, if you like the review, remember to like, subscribe, or just do what you guys want to do, and I'll talk to you in the next one.